Hello and welcome to episode 136 of my Elden Ring playthrough. So, we're sitting on top of the Forge of Giants, I think this place was called. Melina is waiting patiently here for us to continue. But she's going to have to wait for a while longer because it very much sounded like a... Um, not necessarily a point of no return, but maybe a point that we're no longer going to be able to progress things. But there's a few things we want to do anyway before we get on with something else. Just having a quick scan. What I'm looking for is just a double check in to see whether or not Alexander is somewhere. My best bet is he's probably down here if he is somewhere. I can't think of any reason why he would go somewhere else. Um, unless he's gone underground for some reason. But again, I can't think of a reason why he would want to go underground. Speaking of underground, there's a place we haven't explored yet that I forgot to put back on my list. I can't see him, but we shall check a few places for him first. So firstly, we're just going to have a sweep around to where we summoned him in. Although I would have expected he, him to be on the map if he was over there. But since it's relatively nearby, it doesn't take long to go check. After that, we'll go have a look at what this remembrance gives us. And then we're going to head back to the heretical rise. Uh, that is the one. Why didn't I just use the, um... There we go. Why didn't I just teleport down rather than ha take the risk of running down this place? Yeah, because we've not met him over there. He definitely survived the fight. Or at least he survived the fight the second time around. But we didn't beat it the first time around, so I'm not sure whether that counted. Let's see. If we get close enough, I imagine he appears on the map. But we found him over there, and he's not standing over there. This is the other entrance in. We did already check over there. Can we see him on the other side? We cannot. Okay. First things first. Interesting. I didn't realize that that was the position it took. Power from Remembrance. So what have we got? A whip. And then a powerful fire attack. We'll take the powerful fire attack. We may never use it, but we will take it. Now go forth, Leto. Okay. We still have the um, clone of this that we haven't figured out how to get to. There's a lever there, and again, no indication in what it does. I don't suppose you have anything new to say? Uh. Nope. Uh, we don't have anything new to give to you. Probably don't have anything new to say. You might. Well, I took you for no matter. It lay out your arms. Then. Let's talk a while. Are you having second thoughts? Might I have a word then? Your kind are meant to challenge them, to slay them. The demigods and their god 
If you remain loyal to your calling, then no matter what you do, no matter what happens to me, I will never cease to smith your weapons until you have one to slay a god. Hmm. Very much leaning towards the fact that they want us to kill um, Malika. Need smithing stones. You almost certainly don't have anything to say. In this ash, it reminds me of my. F okay, fair enough. Uh, since we're down this direction anyway, I had a doubt. Alexander's going to be down here. It'd be interesting if we found or if he was hanging around where we initially met him. But he doesn't look like it. He was around about here-ish. Okay, in which case... Let's go over here. Where are you? You're up here. Hey there. Again. Do you know what a poacher is, cuz? They hunt us, smash us, and then take us away. This village is kept secret, so I think we're safe here. But you should be careful if you ever meet one of them, cuz. I hope Uncle Alexander beats them all up first. Those awful poachers. Hmm... Hmm. That sounds important. And the fact that he brought up Alexander's name again sounds equally important. Where the hell would you... Well, are we supposed to find Alexander? Millicent is still there. One second, I'm just going to have a word with Millicent since she's sitting there. I also want to have a word with... Um, our cleric friend, friend and... Um, What's it called? God mask? God mask. Hello. Now, I'm tracing the path Melania took. She's passed into the lands that lie beyond the Erd tree. Oh. Sure. Because she needs it. Are you giving me this arm? Thank you. I am in your debt yet again. I think. If the arm serves well enough, it might be possible for me to wield a sword again. That may have been a bad idea, because we know that not necessarily every choice we have is a good idea. If the arms... It might be possible. Perhaps then I... Need me in battle. I wonder if I've missed the opportunity to have her beside me. Probably more accurately, I can have her beside me when... There we go, she's moved on. We can have her beside us for specific fights, probably versus Melania. Because we have to get into the snow area to be able to find that. Box seamstress. Ingerida, Shabiri, Hermit Merchant. Oh, right, yeah, no, I remember where that is. Okay, she is probably over here now, given that we can't see her anywhere else. I highly doubt she would have come to the fire giant with us. She doesn't really have a reason to. Okay, let's see. Think where next? Gold mask. Which bridge are you on? You're on this bridge here if you're still here. Yep, you're not marked, but you are there. So this one? 
and then we'll head over to the Heretic Rise. So I'll explain about the Heretic Rise and why we're heading back there while we go far, uh, wander our way over to Godmask. So, I wanted to confirm whether or not I need an item um, to progress there. That's all I wanted to know. So I Google searched as much and I made sure to add plus Reddit, otherwise you'd just get guide for Heretic Rise because Google is shit nowadays. So off that search, I didn't get anything specific, but the top one said, um, anyone else having trouble with Heretic Rise? Question mark. Sounds like someone having trouble with the Heretic, with the heretic Rise and it's like wanting advice. Okay, I thought reasonable. If we have a look at this, it will give us an idea of what they've tried and then we can see whether or not things align and whatnot else. No, the first thing that was there, their post was actually just a screenshot of how to solve it. It confirms one of the things I thought might be the case, but that didn't appear to be working. We are going to have to wait until it's snowing again. But I imagine if I was playing in single player, it wouldn't have been an issue at all, because I would have seen the bloodstains floating in the air. We killed the fire giant, but we haven't actually done the thing that comes after the fire giant. Ah, nice to see you. Do you need something else? Okay, no, fair enough. Right. Uh, why am I going over there? This one's nearer. That one there is on the other side. So this one. I don't know the specifics though, but basically there is a hidden path that goes up above the cliff on one of the sides and then loops around to, I think, the balcony. From what the screenshot looked like, which is something I was explicitly looking for but couldn't see. So I want to wait until it's actually snowing again to see whether or not the actual hint is accurate. Or whether what it actually wants us to do is something else. But that does mean that we're going to have to wait for it to snow, which could take a while. Okay, it's the only one that's potentially near enough to cause a problem. So it's not snowing at all now. Yeah. So I can't see any falling snow. So we do need to wait for it to snow. I'm just gonna... Because we have a bunch of these and they will in fact work. I'm not gonna find my way up using these because it'll be dreadfully slow and painful. So I'll just make a few more. I just want to know where the start is so that when it is snowing we can see where we want to be looking. Not helpful. Not there. Probably means that this might be it. If the falling snow is just the, the snow falling off here, then that's a terrible hint. Well, maybe it's around the other side. See the butterflies up there. We'll have to wait for it to snow then, um, just so that we're not having to deal with these guys. That's just that's going to hit the rock. Oh, maybe it won't.
Okay. Just in case the puzzles reset. Falling snow marks something unseen. Yeah. But it's not snowing at all at the minute. So, I will wait for the possible hour that it's going to take for it to decide that the weather wants to actually be snowing. And for the sake of simplicity's sake, let me put these on our hotbar. Yes, while I wait, I will cut this stuff out for you. Or more accurately, I'm going to kill the recording now until it starts snowing. So I will see you when it's snowing. Okay, it is properly snowing now. We have found the starting point. Um, while I was standing over there, I looked at and subsequently remembered the bridge to nowhere and realised it doesn't actually have a place that it can connect to. But here we are, it is snowing properly and we still can't see this thing. Which tells us one thing. The hint means absolutely fuck all. Because there's no falling snow. This isn't being revealed by falling snow. We can still see that little step there, but I think that there is quite simply just the glow of this reflection of something. Let's crouch. There's a very, very, very faint... Okay... Oh god damn you, Snow! I don't even know if the snow was what was revealing this. I can still see the ones behind me, I just can't see the one ahead of me anymore. There? There. I wonder if it would be more visible in daytime. Okay, so there is a revealed path. I don't know if it's got anything to do with the snow, but there's a very faint... ...glow, which is entirely gone now. should pay attention to the IK on the legs. Okay, there I can see the next bit. The next bit is right ahead of me. Over here. See the one I'm standing on? But I can't see the next part. Ah, if only I was playing online I could see the blood splatters everywhere. I imagine going this way is not going to be the path because that's where we're going. So I have a feeling that if I continue that way I'm probably not going to find what I'm looking for. Oh, hang on. I see a thing there. Just confirm... I think it's directly ahead of me. 
there, but... No. Do I have to jump that? No, I don't. There's a path here. I can see this bit here. I think the feeling is going to loop around. There's our target, but we're still looking for... Perilously close to the edge. Excuse you. That does look like we have to make a jump. I can see where the path continues, but... Pretty sure. Death that way. Death this way. Actually, wait, can you cancel that for a second? do that then at the very least we should have some kind of helmet on that's gonna glow not the one cancel cancel So we can't go any further here. I'm not sure why that's stuck to there. I think that's just a glitch. Which means... The path forward... Where are you? Lost track of it. It being sunny doesn't help. That could just be the trees. How close were we to the edge this whole time? There it is. Bless it again. There. Success! So it's pretty much a straight line from there to the wall and then you need to find this little um, cloud. This is the um, thing that it was telling us about, that the snow reveals it. But really that's 
I'm not a fan of that. And I think the message I just accidentally skipped is telling me that the doorway is open now. is the way that we're going to need to go, so let's go up. We can check down later. A book of snow spells? Please, a book of snow spells. Ooh. It's not even a snow spell. Found in Reign of Stars. It's a legendary spell, so it's not nothing, but still, not what I wanted. Releases a downpour of star rain for a while. The eldest primeval sorcery uh, said to have been discovered by an ancient astrologer, the sorcery of the legendary, a sorcery of legendary status, summons a dark cloud of stars overhead shortly after. Excuse me. The cloud will release a violent deluge of star rain. Uh, this sorcery can be cast while in motion. Charge increases potency. Thought to be the fundamental glintstone sorcery. Uh, the glimpse of the primeval. The glimpse of the primeval current um, that the astrologer saw became real uh, and the star amber rain fell on the, this land. Okay. We didn't get what we wanted. We got something cool, maybe we'll cast it once. But it's not what we wanted. We wanted more snow spells, more ice spells. I wanted something to go with our build. More things that this hat can boost. down here either. Okay, well we can tick pretty much everything off here off our list. Um, why have I marked that? Why did we mark that? Was there something in that cave that we've left behind? I'm going to have to try to remember to have a look back at that episode. It must be referring to something that's underneath. Yeah, I'll have to have a look back at the Spurcola Cave episode and Try and figure out why that's there. Let's give this deaf bird one more try. Uh, this is probably not the safest way to get over to it. A number of big skellies are going to try and take pot shots at us. I 
I was not prepared. if I actually have my finger on the right buttons. Ten is really not going to last long. Christ, how well do they track? Unlock, unlocking <laughs> helps against these big things. We haven't even got to its second phase yet. What the hell was that? Why am I locked on? <sighs> Why the fuck did he lock me back on again? What the hell came on? Snapped it by my chair, causing a distraction. Let's try that again, but let's not pre or summon it too early. And again, let's not be on horseback because horseback is just a bad idea for that thing. Uh, can we remove this? Remove. Uh, I'm not going to waste that on this. Let's use this.
wants it. Damn it. I accidentally swapped weapons. I need to get away from this area where I can't see what I'm doing. Closer. This is a bad idea! Greed it! <laughs> gotcha. It didn't do any of its one-hit KOs, or at least we survived them if it did. Death Ritual Spear. Not something we will ever use, but loot is loot. Okay. So in absence of things that I've not found, or potentially a thing I haven't remembered, I think we're done here. Can't think of any reason to hang around, in which case the other place I wanted to go, not over here specifically, but here. That's underneath. This is where I want to be. We're going to kill the dragons, but before that... I'm going to try and take on the ringleader. Dragons of memory serves. Are oh, there. Aren't there supposed to be three of them? What else? Three of them sleeping in a circle. There's the other one. Okay, um, this way. I believe there is actually a um, jump pad to get down. Ah no, there's that there that doesn't appear to go anywhere, right? We need to find three more big turtles and one of them was clinging to the edge of a cliff. Although we haven't gone all the way around, checking all of the cliffs. Okay, we will thrust up last. Because it lasts the shortest. So let's go... Did I open the crafting menu? No, I just scrolled past everything is all. Let's have that. Let's have that. Let's have that. What am I doing? 
Use that. Use that. Cast that. Swap to that. That was all of my HP. We'll give it one more try. That didn't, well, we didn't really get very far before it hit us with an attack that removed all of our HP. And that was with basically every buff we have active. So this time we will do it with no buffs whatsoever. Because I'm not entirely sure whether or not the damage reductions are actually doing anything. They may be such a pitiful amount that there's no point having them. You move around too much. Damn it, it's not what we wanted. What I wanted to do. Hitting me with an attack when I'm fat fingering things. That attack hits me, I'm almost certainly dead. He's not insurmountable. If I can just stop fat fingering, I wanted to keep. Um, I definitely wanted to keep the twin blades. Uh, what I wanted to do was reapply ice to one of them. I did collect these last time, right? We'll give it one more go. We'll use all of our buffs with the exception of that big defensive one. Let's remove... Um, ...the things we're not actually going to use.
God damn it. All because I forgot to change my staff back to my double blade. If he keeps up the offensive, he doesn't give me the opportunity to so like, reapply things count or counter. Which is a massive problem. But I don't feel like those buffs are doing it anywhere near any kind of usefulness. Did I get my, um... Did I pick them up? I did. Okay. I was worried for a second that I did not. Okay. Damn it, don't queue up attacks like that. can't just roll about or roll about that attack you have to be out of range because it has an attack and then a series of follow-ups and I hate attacks like that it's like if you can't block this or be out of range of it you're going to die and that's not fun that's basically a middle finger anybody going dex build tax game. This is the last game in existence I want to actually queue a tax. Mouse wheel.
Give me a break for just two seconds. Gotcha. Aside from that one really, really nasty attack, it's not a bad fight. Don't like that attack. The rest of it, though... All fairly happy with. Okay. Now, what are the dragons? And what are these giant turtles? If they put them all on the edge of the cliff, that's stupid. But now that we've cleared that, does that do anything? Probably not. We have already been over here and looked all over the place. We can't see the um, turtles on the ground anywhere. You would assume that given how many turtles there are around here, it must be around here somewhere, but I can't see any indication that there is one around here. Keep heading that way, we'll reach the Crystallines. What killed you? Yeah, there's the Crystallines. It has way too much health, but maybe if we can encourage it to come over here. Actually, we don't have the, um, we do not have the health to be doing this anyway. We don't have the pots. not fly? Let's just nip back over here. This tells us to find... Seek three great wise beasts. And the first one of them was hanging off the cliff. It was down there. I doubt very much that the red um, dog that we killed counted. I'm almost certain it has to be three of those giant sized um, turtles. But like, how can you hide something of that magnitude? is you can't, which is why I think it may have something to do with the dragons as well. There's a bunch of things over there that are going to try and kill us. I just want to see whether or not this 
the red dog has respawned. If it hasn't respawned, then it's very possible that it and the dragons are the key, in which case we'll kill the dragons next episode. If it has respawned, then it's not the key and it's not likely that the dragons will be either. It's not on this one then, it's the next one. Doesn't appear to be here, has it just not spawned in? Maybe it is it. But I have to be mindful of that we have to stitch together two parts of an episode and we are rapidly approaching one hour. So I think that's what we'll do next episode. We have three dragons up there. There's a non-zero chance they have something to do with the puzzle. I'm sure we've run through here before. I think there's just a whole bunch of wolves. White wolves specifically. If all three of them are hidden on the cliff side, then I don't like that. Here, pixel hunt. Pixel hunts are never fun. Not unless you can see them from a long ass way away. At which point they're not a pixel hunt. I suppose that's a place I never actually checked. I'm going to quickly check there. I never checked um, where Rin, uh, Rani's two fingers were. Or Rennie, rather. Fairly sure we checked this place. Well, let's have a quick look in there, because there's no enemies. Fairly sure we only ever found one of them. The wise beast, that is. Can't see it on the inside, can't see it on the outside. Just wanted to check. We have a lot more backtracking to do, but I wanted to try and get both of these out of the way. Oh, both of these areas out of the way first. One dead, two fingers. I 
Okay. In which case, I guess we have dragons to be fighting tomorrow. So, we'll leave it there for today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show. I will level up and spend that uh, th those rune counts before we lose them against three dragons at once. But yeah, thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Cheerio. Oh, bow. There we go.